welcome to Comfort Life Channel. I am happy to see you here. Today, I thought it would be appropriate for me to share with you um, a wonderful recipe of uh, ginger tea. But it's not just the ginger tea because it has some um, wider flavor rather than a regular ginger tea. And it's uh, perfect because it possesses lots and lots of health benefits because of the ingredients it has. It is also good for people who are not fans of just the regular ginger tea because of the spiciness or just the taste of ginger. This recipe will definitely work for anybody, especially children, because it has some citrus fruits in it and you could definitely sweeten it with some honey. Another great thing about this tea is that you could drink it either hot, let's say during the winter months, or cold during the, during the summer months. Um, I'm not going to list all the uh, benefits of the ingredients that are listed in this tea, but you will definitely, you should definitely know that ginger is the main ingredient here and it has antibacterial properties. It is working like a tonic for the entire body. It is very healthy for you to consume it. You could use it, you know, in a form of a medicine or just in cooking. And of course, it is um, great for its antibacterial properties, let's say during the winter months, if you would like to really keep that cold at bay. All the ingredients we're going to use in this recipe are on the table and uh, basically what you just need to start with is just prepare some water. So basically start boiling your water and then you will just need a teapot. I'm using this one, It's um, it seems to be small but it's actually good for like good three cups of tea and because I'm going to use it for myself that's pretty much enough. And um, everything you will need to do is just put all the ingredients in here. And I think we need to start with uh, the main ingredient, which is the ginger. You're using the ginger in this recipe uh, grated, and um, you need to use, you need to rub it on a small uh, grater. And I can even show you. I use it, yeah, on the small one. Usually the grater has the uh, the big side and the small one, so you use it on the small one. Um, I wouldn't recommend you to use it on the smallest grater because, you know, the ginger has some uh, fibers in it, so it will really stuck in there. So, once you've grated it, make sure uh, while you're grating all the juices are going either inside the teapot or just, uh, you know, where you are grating it. So, we're putting this into um, the teapot and I used here about, ha about an inch and a half of ginger root which is, uh, let's say, like half of this piece. But it depends on your taste. You could start with a little bit of ginger. It will definitely uh, still have all the wonderful health benefits. And uh, because you need to work with the spiciness and see the way you like it and the way you, it works for you because you definitely want to enjoy this tea rather than not. So the next ingredient we are going to use is going to be orange. You will need the whole, you know, just the whole orange. You need to peel it. Make sure you use the organic orange and then you will need to squeeze some juice. So you don't really need a juice or anything. Just squeeze the juice with your hands and pour the juice into the teapot. So once we're done with that, you need to use the pulp of the orange. So, and put it in the teapot as well. So once you're done with that, you move forward and the next ingredient is going to be lemon. We shall only need half of the lemon and you need to squeeze the juice of half of the lemon and you do not need the pulp because the pulp might add some bitterness to the taste which you definitely don't want. So you put the lemon juice inside the teapot as well. The original recipe then calls for fresh mint leaves. But you could also um, just go into show with the alternative to the fresh mint leaves because it might be a problem but for some of you just to find them during, let's say, the winter months. You could definitely use dried uh, peppermint and that works as good as the fresh mint leaves. So we shall need to use, uh, let's say, a little less than a teaspoon because, you know, mint has a really strong flavor. You don't really want uh, to, do, to have more minty tea rather than ginger. So you put that in here as well. And I do believe we're done with all the ingredients. All the, the full recipe I will put down below. Um, so you could see that. You do definitely adjust these or that ingredient. Put a little bit more, a little bit less. Depends on what you have at hand. Um, and the next step is just this, the simplest one. You just pour the boiling water inside the teapot. Well, here I need to mention that I, although do not owe a, um, you know, a kettle, so I'm using just the pot. 
with the boiling water till you fill it in. You close it. And the, the time you need to have this tea sit on your table before you start drinking it should be, you know, between 10 or 15 minutes. I need to recommend you to always cover your teapot with the towel or something that, may, that will make it even warmer. It will help uh, the tea to brew better and it will have more flavors in it. And then if you would like to sweeten your tea and for all those who are consuming honey, and in my opinion honey, honey is something that, that is really good for your health, never put the honey into the hot tea because the heat destroys all the benefits of honey. So once the tea is done and you pour it in the cup, you just wait a little bit until the tea starts cooling and then you could just put the honey in it. And let's say I even like to just use, uh, to eat honey from the spoon and then drink some tea and that's even, I don't know, it, it really works like something sweet if you want to, if you don't want to add it in, inside the tea. I have waited for 15 minutes and now the tea is ready to drink. So you just pour it into your cup, you put some honey in it if you would like to make it sweet. And that is it. It is very simple, very easy to make and you will definitely like the taste. This is a great tea if you would like to stay energized, if you would like to really boost your immune system. It is good for people who are uh, try to lose weight because of the ginger and the citrus fruits. So it's basically um, a wonderful drink for everybody to enjoy. So I hope you will like this recipe, you will try it at home. Thank you so much for watching this video, put the thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel and I wish you to stay happy and healthy. And I forgot to mention that um, you definitely need to try this tea just because it has so many flavors in it that it's hard to imagine. It has ginger, it has lemon, orange, mint, everything. And just um, honestly, you don't need to sweeten the tea at all because it has very, very pleasant and mild taste.